If Belleville can his generous soul confine To a small room, few dishes, and some wine, I shall expect my happiness at nine. Two bottles of smooth palm, or Andrew White, Shall give a welcome and prepare delight. Then for the Bordeaux you may freely ask, But the champagne is to each man his flask. I tell you with what force I keep the field, And if you can exceed it, speak, I'll yield. The snow-white damask ensigns are displayed, And glittering salvers on the sideboard laid. Thus will disperse all busy thoughts and cares, The general's counsels and the statesman's fears. Nor shall sleep reign in that president night, Whose joyful hours lead on the glorious light, Sacred to British worth in Blenheim's fight. The blessings of good fortune seem refused, Unless sometimes with generous freedom used. Tis madness, not frugality, Prepares a vast excess of wealth for squandering heirs. Must I of neither wine nor mirth partake, Lest the censorous world should call me rake? Who, unacquainted with such generous wine, E'er spoke bold truths, or framed a great design, That makes us fancy every face has charms, That gives us courage and then finds us arms, Sees cares disburthened and each tongue employed, The poor grown rich and every wish enjoyed. This I'll perform and promise you shall see A cleanliness from affectation free. No noise, no hurry, when the meat's set on. Or when the dish is changed, the servant's gone. For all things ready, nothing more to fetch. Whate'er you want is in the master's reach. Then for the company I'll see it chose, Their emblematic signal is the rose. If you of Freeman's Railway approve, Of Cotton's laugh, and Winner's tales of love, And Belair's charming voice may be allowed, What can you hope for better from a crowd? But I shall not prescribe, Consult your ease, Write back your men, and number as you please, Try your back stairs, and let the lobby wait, A stratagem in war, is no deceit. Imitation of Horace, written by William King, narrated by Jordan Harling.